Welcome to this video on the workflow tool in Quantum ATK. Today we'll take a look at how to use it to set up and manage a simulation scenario. We'll go through what a workflow is, how to create them, and how to run them as jobs. We'll also have a look at some of the built-in features such as the templates and how to save workflow snippets. A workflow in Quantum ATK is the definition of a simulation or calculation. Much like you would in a script, one must define the different components of the simulation. The atomic configuration, the physical model or calculator, and any functions to calculate physical properties, what we call analysis objects. The workflow encapsulates these components in blocks and offers a more intuitive and tractable way to connect them to each other. Practically speaking, workflows are savable objects that are quick to set up and alter, allowing you to spend more time on your research and less time on simulation setup. The workflow tool will help you to set these up interactively by offering drag and drop functionality and widgets to organize workflows and blocks for building them. So let's go over the layout of the tool. We have a stash of workflows to the left, the contents of the selected workflow in the center, and catalogs of built-in blocks, templates, and save blocks to the right. The most common approach to creating a new workflow will likely start in the builder, where you've perhaps just created your atomic structure of interest and are ready to send it to the workflow tool. This will create a new workflow, aptly named after the configuration, that is saved in your projects folder and will show up in the data view with this icon. Workflows also come with previews, so you can quickly inspect their contents in the preview pane here. As most of our main tools and the data view, you can also drag and drop a configuration onto the workflows icon to get started in that way. A third option is to start directly in the workflow tool, where we first create a new workflow and add a configurations block. If we open its editor and load our configuration like this, you can see that the block has a small arrow on the left, which means it can be unfolded to show its contents. Let's say we want to perform a band structure calculation, so we can rename the workflow to band structures and then add an appropriate calculator. Now, if there's any errors on any block, you'll get a small notification icon on that block. So just to demonstrate, let me delete the configuration from the configurations block, which will cause an error on both remaining blocks and if we click on the little icon, we get a message box with some information on what issues are present. Okay, let's add the configuration back and move on. So next we want to add a band structure analysis block to the workflow, and we do this most easily by using the search bar as the list of analyses is long. I'll just type band, and it's the first one in the list. And now we have a meaningful workflow that can be sent off to jobs to be executed. You can of course add more analyses to this workflow, but let's keep it simple for this example. Using the Send To menu, we'll want to send this as a single script. We're now presented with the Export to Script dialog, where there are some additional options related to the input and output of the workflow. For instance, the configuration is set to not be saved by default, and likewise the calculator is not saved but the configuration with the calculator set on it will be saved, and this is because setting the calculator can sometimes be a costly operation in itself, so it's more efficient to save it after this is done. You also have the option to save things to separate files by choosing the Save to Custom File option and providing a different file name. Once you're happy with the dialog settings, you are prompted to save the resulting script, and now we're sent to the Jobs tool to set up the running of the script. We have a separate tutorial on the jobs tool, so I won't go into further detail on this here. There are also other options in the Send To menu. For instance, you could send the workflow to the editor to view the actual Python script that will get executed before sending it onto the jobs tool. The last option is to send a workflow as multiple scripts, for instance, if we had loaded multiple configurations. So let's briefly jump into another workflow that I've made and have a look at this option. Here I have loaded several other configurations, and we'll see that if we send this as multiple scripts, we get an extra dialog where we can rename the individual scripts for the different configurations. This also means that they will be added as separate jobs, so in essence we've parallelized the workflow. Note that we could still use the send a script option in this case, but then the workflow would run through the different configurations in series instead.
Okay, let's jump back to the original example. Now, suppose we want to tweak the band structure calculation settings a bit and rerun the workflow. We can either simply alter the band structure block in the old workflow, or create a new one and use the load from file block to load the starting configuration from the previous results. The second option will be the more economical since that configuration already has a calculator set on it. So let's go with that. We create a new workflow, rename it to band structure alt, add a load from file block, which is found under the algorithm block section, and load the configuration from the previous calculation results. Now we just need to add back the band structure analysis, tweak the parameters to our liking, and then go through the dialogues to send it to jobs again. Apart from the load from file block, there are also other algorithm blocks that can help you set up iteration or parallelize a workflow. Imagine you wanted to scan 10 different configurations using 10 different calculator settings. Then the iteration and split parallel blocks can be very powerful tools and spare you the trouble of duplicating and editing 100 different workflows. I won't go into more detail about these here, but you can read about them in the Introduction to the Workflows tool online documentation. Instead, we can take a look at the templates. These are built-in workflow snippets that can vary in complexity from a single to many blocks and are set up for a specific task. For instance, you have LCAO calculators that are pre-tuned to work with either metals or semiconductors, or different melt quench simulations where the necessary chain of blocks is already set up for you. This icon here means that this is a block of blocks, and as the name suggests, it acts simply as a container for other blocks. You can also find this in the algorithm block section, which means you can use it to make your own workflow snippets and save them for future use. It all works by drag and drop interactions, so you just drop the blocks you want to group into the block of blocks, then drag it out into the list on the blocks tab. We can right click to rename it so we remember what we've saved, and now we can drop it into a new workflow. And that's it for this introduction to workflows and the workflow tool in Quantum ATK. We've explored what a workflow is, how to create and edit them, and how to run them. We've also looked at what templates and workflow snippets are, and how to create your own. Feel free to check out some of our other guides and tutorials, or visit the online documentation to explore other aspects and possibilities in Quantum ATK. I hope you found this helpful, and thank you for watching.